very much, Commissioner. You know, we measure progress and look at a lot of indicators for how well we are doing on the Great Lakes. One of them is not the number of meetings that we have. <laughs> however, however, we did think that it was appropriate that 46 years down the road since the signing of the original agreement and approaching our 200th meeting uh, tomorrow that we ought to have some little acknowledgement of it. And one special part of uh, the Great Lakes Water Quality Board is a gentleman who I had the pleasure of working with and for uh, for 25 years of my career at EPA, a man by the name of Valdas Adamkas, who was chair of the board uh, from 1981 until 1997, I believe the longest standing chair. And what prepared him for his work was uh, fighting the Nazis and the Soviets in World War II in his homeland of Lithuania, and um, then serving at U.S. EPA through seven or eight different administrations. So the battles on the Great Lakes were relatively simple and straightforward. Uh, after retirement in 97, he moved on to become president of Lithuania for 10 years. Oh and you may or may not know that Lithuania was the first of the Soviet bloc to say, enough, we want to be on our own. So it was with that kind of tradition, uh, and uh, Val is now 91 years old, still sharp as a tack, and he sent these words to the collective gathering uh, tonight that he was delighted to learn uh, that we were having our 200th meeting, and he sends his warmest congratulations. And he says he looks back with much pride, and this is a man who has done a lot in his life, to the responsibilities and commitments associated with his work on the Great Lakes. Early on, a lot was raising the level of awareness of the problems and the tremendous importance of it. He says now he wants to pass on uh, his deepest respect and gratitude to members of the board and all working on the Great Lakes. And in words that I wish you could hear him saying, and I can't uh, really mimic them, but I wish you all unrelenting enthusiasm, commitment, and determination as you work to preserve the Great Lakes for future generations. May success be with you always. Valdas Adamkas. Thank you. So in that spirit, it's my great pleasure to bring you similar words from the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, Madam Elizabeth Dowdswell, who was the Canadian co-chair of the Great Lakes Water Quality Board uh, at uh, the same time as President Adamkus. And uh, her letter, too, speaks to the importance of the work that the countries are, are doing together and the importance of the work that the Water Quality Board has, uh, has always undertaken. And she congratulates us on our 200th meeting. We didn't tell her we had to organize 23 meetings this year to get that number up. <laughs> but, but it was worth it so that I could stand here. Uh, she comments that, you know, the work is far from complete and the Great Lakes Basin is a living laboratory in which to champion sustainability and resilience. And I think that's absolutely true. And I can see that in, in all of the work that, uh, that we're all doing. And so she concludes by saying, may I humbly reinforce just how vital binational institutions like yours are in healthy democracies. Uh, and, uh, and she's seen in her work as Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. Uh, how much citizens are committed to the lakes as well. And so, uh, so greetings from Liz Dowdswell. And I'll just leave you with the thought that I, I hope everybody has noticed where uh, co-chairs of the Great Lakes Water Quality Board uh, end up. It's clearly a pathway to, to great success and leadership. Thank you very much.